everyone welcome back to the channel previews and vlogs all right so today we are going to be working and doing some upgrades on the newly acquired 2022 nissan pathfinder now if you guys follow my video you guys are aware that i got this pathfinder a few weeks ago and i have that video link here so you guys take a look at it i kind of want to go into detail when i went to get the car i didn't record the part that i wanted to record which was at the dealership uh the dealer reps they didn't want to be recorded i'm not sure why but anyways uh, then of course a few weeks later we ended up with the car here and I kind of went over it real quick just to show you guys the interior of the car and everything there will be more videos coming for the Pathfinder there's gonna be a series of videos actually for this Pathfinder so stay tuned hit the subscribe button and hit the like button as well because it helps me get more views and the more views I get to make more videos anyways so as you guys have seen my videos and I guess if you guys follow my channel you know that every time I get a car I like to go ahead and do upgrades certain upgrades to cars the Cadillac has gotten a bunch of them, wheels, uh, body kits, performance upgrades, everything. Uh, the last Pathfinder had things blacked out. It, was, it basically turned it from an SL to a Midnight Edition uh, in a way. And of course, you know, the Forerunner that I've got, I've also have worked on my friends' cars will be done certain upgrades. That's what this channel is about, just kind of reviewing cars and also upgrading cars. But anyways, keep rambling on here. One of the first upgrades I always do to a car is I tint the windows. Now, of course, this car has a, had that done. I don't ever think that a window tinting video is very catching or, or, or even amusing right at that point. I mean, let, you guys let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see me when I get a car, have them tint the windows. But so I tinted the front windows, the passenger driver and the windshield was tinted as well. Uh, it doesn't show here because I got a light right above it. But the windshield is, is tinted to about 50%. Uh, on the side windows, the back windows already come tinted at 20% from the factory, but the passenger and driver side front doors were tinted at 20% as well. That's usually the first thing I, use, I do within a day or, or two, I, I tint the windows. First thing that's gotta be done. Second thing I normally do is I upgrade all the lights to LEDs. Uh, interior lights, exterior lights, headlights, fog lights, reverse lights, anything that needs to be done and can be done to an LED gets done to an LED. With the 2022 Pathfinder, fortunately, we don't have to worry about the fog lights or the headlights or the daytime running lights or the nighttime running lights, which are your tail lights pretty much in the back. Those are all standard on these 2022 Pathfinders. All trims come standard with LED lights. The only thing that does not come standard with LED lights is your turn signal bulb, which we never do because of course you have to go into wiring and getting resistors so you don't have that uh, hyper flash. But the reverse lights are incandescent bulbs as well as the map lights, the two back lights over the doors, your vanity lights or the mirror lights as well, and of course the door lights that are in the back and the lights up in the cargo area. For some reason, Nissan decided to put incandescent lights. Now, Nissan does have an option where you get from the factory before you buy the car if you want to, that costs $153 for accessories, it's an accessory option to get LED lights on the cars. But of course, when they install them, or if they install them, and the, you have to pay dealer pricing, you're paying $153 for just the lights, plus the dealer to install it, plus their markup. So you could be looking at maybe between $300 to $400 or $500 for some LED lights. What we're gonna do it today, on this Pathfinder, we're gonna upgrade them with our own LED lights, not the ones from Nissan, but the ones I like to use. We're gonna install them on this 2022 Pathfinder, for less than $150, from less than what the dealer charges you just for the lights. So we'll be doing that today. I'll be showing you how to do it on yourself so you don't have to go to the dealer or ask anybody. It's very simple. Should take you less than 30 minutes to do all the lights. And I'm gonna show you exactly what lights I use, which you guys know which ones I use, and what tool. We only need one tool for this whole job. So let's go ahead. Let me show you what I use, and then we'll get started on the car. Now the first set of lights, of course, is gonna be 194s. We're gonna be using 194 bulbs, and that is gonna be for pretty much the doors, the map lights, the vanity lights, and the uh, lights that are right above the passenger and both passenger sides of the second row. The next bulb you're gonna see is gonna be we're gonna be using the 3157 bulb, and that is gonna be for the back storage area or tailgate area, whatever you want to call it. There's two lights back there, and then the last ones they're gonna be it's going the night. 921 bulbs and that's gonna be for your reverse bulbs and of course the trim removal tool that you're gonna need which is the only tool you'll need for this entire job so now that we saw what we're gonna be using let's go ahead and get started with the first set of lights all right so first thing we're gonna remove is this thing to remove these two 194 bulbs that are in here for the map lights 
So this one's actually pretty simple. You're gonna actually just open up your sunglass holder, remove any sunglasses that are in there so you don't damage them. And you're gonna use a combination of the pry tool and of course your hands. Now with your hands, you can feel around for the edge and then gently pull it down. You'll feel it just pop right out of place. You should be able to work it off mostly with your hands. If you don't, if you can't for some reason, it feels too tight, go ahead and bring up the trim tool because you don't want to break this. Um, if you break any of these clips in here, you will pretty much won't be able to get this out the right way. So with the, pulling it out with one hand and just use the trim tool around it, kind of pry around it, and it should just come right out. Once you get that out, you'll notice the two 194 bulbs are inside there. Very simple to get to. Just go ahead and pull it straight out. Do the same thing for the other side. And then insert the new bulbs inside. Now, of course, if you put a bulb in and it doesn't light up at first, go ahead and just flip it around. Just turn, reverse the polarity pretty much, and they should turn right on. There's the first one. And I'll do the second one. And sorry for the shaky camera here. I'm trying to hold the camera as I'm doing this. That one didn't turn on, so all I did was pull it straight out, turn it around, pop it back in the slot, and then now it works. And then you go ahead and reinsert the plastic lens or the plastic cover, whatever you want to call it, right back on there. And this is just, again, as long as you took it out perfectly, it should go right back in the same exact way, as long as nothing broke. And it just pops right in place. Let's move on to the vanity mirror lights now. Right in between here, you should be able to see the base and the difference between the lens right there. You're gonna insert the tool between those two and pry down slightly on it and then you should be able to get the lens out. The bulb is housed right in there. Insert the trim tool at the base of the bulb and pull down on it, the bulb will fall right out. Insert the new bulb in there, test that out by opening the mirror and snap it back into place. Same thing goes for the other side. Next, we're gonna go ahead and do the courtesy lights at the bottom of the doors. Insert the trim tool right at the very top and the light literally pops right out. Go ahead and disconnect it by pressing the small tab towards the end of the light just use your thumb to press down on it and pull back on the connector. Insert the trim tool between these two small tabs and turn the trim tool slightly and that'll pop the actual plastic cover right off. Underneath you'll see the bulb. Just go ahead and pull it out. And insert the new bulb in its place. Take it back to the car and make sure it works before reapplying the clear cover on there. If it doesn't work, just go ahead, grab the bulb, take it out and flip it around. And that should make it work. Reapply the clear cover and snap the light back in its place. Now let's go to the backseat reading light. You gotta take the trim tool and insert it right by the button here in the slot, push in and the cover pops right out. The bulb is right there. Pull the old bulb out, insert the new bulb back in, push the button to see if it works. If it doesn't, same thing, flip it around. Once it turns on, you're good to go and go ahead and reinsert the cover back on and you're good to go. Same thing goes for the opposite side. So all the interior lights pretty much are done. You're Vanity mirror, light, vanity mirror lights are on, your door lights, the ones for the, the puddle lights, whatever you want to call them. Also, your dome lights are on and the two rear lights are on. Now we go to the back. So I had to reverse the car back into the garage because of the garage door. I didn't want to hit it. And we're going to do it in this form. We're going to do this light first, which is one of the easiest ones. Just a small, t uh, the Pro tool pops in here, lights right inside of there. And we're going to do the reverse lights. And then we're going to leave this one last because that is actually the hardest one of this whole install it's, it's a pain in the butt to take out and it's a pain in the butt to get back in slightly and i'm going to show you guys why when i get to that light but for now let's go ahead and take care of this one and both reverse lights for the tailgate light it's actually pretty simple kind of like the interior lights on the second row you're going to insert the pry tool on the left side of it Pull it down now this doesn't give you very much slack so you're gonna want to disconnect this you're gonna look for this tab right here push down with your thumb and pull it out and then kind of like we did the door lights 
you're gonna wanna pry around the gray part and the cap. On this one though, you're gonna pry the gray part off instead of the clear part. You're gonna insert your trim tool right between those two and then pop those out slightly and then you should be able to pull it with your finger. Now here's where it comes complicated with this one. The new bulb, the LED bulb, is a little bit thicker than the original. So you kind of got to bend the tabs back and kind of wiggle around it. It doesn't look perfect when it goes back in, but who's going to be looking at this light and how it's angled on there? So at the end of the whole thing, the light's actually got to look kind of like this. It's like at an angle and the tabs are slightly bent. Yes, one is bigger than the other one was. Go ahead and plug it back in, make sure it works. Put the gray cover back on and reinsert it and it should all be perfect. Next we're gonna go ahead and do the reverse bulbs. Now on the reverse bulbs, there's gonna be two doors inside of the back hatch. That's where the reverse bulbs live. I'm gonna take some tape and what we're gonna do is basically just kind of cover this area here where the doors are for the simple fact that the trim tool may slip and you don't wanna scratch the plastic door. Once you do that, go ahead and take your trim tool, insert it on the very bottom edge of the small door and pop it right out. You're gonna see inside that there is two sockets. It's gonna be the one closest to the edge of the door that you wanna go in there and turn it counterclockwise and pull the assembly out and there is your bulb. Take the bulb out, put the new bulb in, put the car in reverse and make sure that it is working. Come back to the car and then go ahead and reinsert it the opposite way of what you just did. So going on clockwise. Once you do that, we apply the door and then the same thing goes for the other side. All right, the last one is gonna be a little bit different. Take notes of these L-shaped tabs on here. They're aluminum and plastic ones. You're gonna insert the pry tool in here and wiggle back and forth until the assembly pops out. Be careful you don't break any of these tabs. You don't have much slack with the wiring, so you're gonna have to unplug it just like you did with every other plug that we did on this video. Next, inspect the assembly. If you see this small aluminum tab popped out of its place, go ahead and push it back in its slot with your fingers. It's very simple to do. Now take your pry tool to remove the actual bulb. When you insert the new bulb, again, it's, it is bigger than the other one, so you're gonna kinda mess around with the tabs. What you want to do is push back the tap further away from the connector. And then once you secure it in place, go ahead and move the tap back in its spot using the pry tool. So you're going to test the pry tool and push it back in and then kind of secure it in there and make sure the bulb is nice and tight and secure it in there that there's not wiggling or has any play. Reconnect it back in the spot, make sure it works. And then when you're reinstalling this whole assembly, this is where I struggled a little bit. You gotta kinda have to wiggle back and forth until you hear it snap into place, push it all the way in, and then kinda give it a quick wiggle to make sure everything is nice and tight. One last thing before we end this video. You see the small amount of glow that's coming off of this light right here? You'll see it more on the back ones. Now the camera exaggerates this, but it's not that bad. This glow is because there's still some kind of power stored in the circuit, and LED lights don't take that much power to run, and condensing lights take a lot more power so you don't see the glow out of them. You will of these LEDs. Now, when you turn the car completely off after about a minute or so, they will completely shut off. But when you're driving the car or you first shut the car off, you have this small amount of glow, not enough to bother you. Honestly, they don't bother me at all. But if you really want to shut them completely off, just hit the power button on the top of your, by the buttons here in the, the roof line, and it'll shut the lights off. But again, it doesn't bother me. And like I said, after about a minute or so, you can see in the video here, they completely shut down. There's no more power going to that circuit and they won't drain your battery. So you don't have to worry about that. And the Nissan ones will probably won't do this. But again, $180 compared to about a hundred bucks. I'll keep, I'll keep these lights. All right, so that's it. That's the end of the install. It was pretty simple, except for that last one. That one was a pain in the butt. And again, that was just, it's a pain when you're trying to put it back in. And of course you gotta bend the little tabs because the new bulbs, the LEDs, are a little bit thicker than the old ones were. So they fit on there, they turn on and they work and they are the right size, it's just that they're a little bit thicker so you gotta kinda mess the little tabs there, here and there just to get them to fit in properly. But other than that, it's pretty simple, self-explanatory and makes the car look great on the inside. And again, you don't have to pay Nissan almost $300 to get this installed on. It literally costs about $100 worth of bulbs and you're all good to go if you go with the Philips LED lights. Now, if you go with some cheaper ones, it'll probably be cheaper, but my recommendation, my opinion, 
These lights are the best ones, hands down. I've never had an actual issue with any of these lights. So that's it. We've done all the lights. I'm gonna leave you guys with some night shots of basically before and after. You guys take a look at it. And if you guys did like this video, go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace.